come and join us because it's going to be the first of its kind. And let me be honest about it. Um, it has been hard to get people to register. We've made it very affordable, $20 and up sliding scale, and said anybody who can't afford the $20, just come. And it's like pulling teeth to get people to come because people are still not even aware of this issue. I mean, recognize that you, know, you are in the vanguard here, and most people really don't even know that we're using what, what drones are all about. Um, so we're bringing together an amazing array of people. Uh, the fact that we have a member of parliament coming from Pakistan, hopefully we have this lawyer. We have Jeremy Skane, who has just spent time in Yemen and Somalia with really incredible first-hand information about what the drone strikes are doing there. We have uh, people from the board of Amnesty International. We have members from the uh, ACLU who have done this great legal work about drones at home. We have uh, activists from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Um, we have the expert in the use of uh, drones along the border uh, of Mexico who is coming. And uh, so I think it's going to be a time where we really try to recognize that it's not apples and oranges. It's not, OK, here's people who are working around domestic privacy issues, and here's people working around the killer drones. And, you know, that we're really part, we're really together in this. And that the drone is a piece of technology that brings us together. And that te technology you know, is something we haven't talked about, but I think should recognize that it could be used for good. It's not that this piece of technology is somehow automatically a terrible, evil thing. It's how it's used. And uh, I, I, um, I think that the discussion we're going to have this weekend, one is going to, information is going to be tremendous for people. And if you can't come, we are going to live stream it. And we also are going to have people videoing it. We're going to make short videos and longer videos out of it. And we're going to have the Pacifica um, radio stations are going to broadcast the whole thing and then be playing pieces of it. So it's really going to help spread the word a lot, educate people a lot. Um, but the second day is going to be a strategy session. And we're really going to sit down and try to hammer out, OK, you know, where do we go from here? What do we build? How do we support the campaigns that are already happening? How do we make more happen? How do we get students involved? How do we get the religious community? How do we get, you know, 100 law professors to sign up for something? <laughs> so I'm very excited that this will uh, strengthen our movements. And I think the timing is great. The fact that you're doing this tomorrow, that this is going to really inspire people for the weekend. Uh, and I guess um, to end uh, on this note that, um, the, the, the drones are uh, a piece of technology that we are using to shine a light on the undemocratic nature of our society. And that um, we use the drone to reflect what we don't want, and we use the, the drone to talk about what we do want. And I think our, uh, our society with the Occupy movement is really uh, understanding that message very well now, and that our message fits very well into the, the framework of uh, an economy that works for the 99%, a society that is run by the 99%, and a society that really understands that democracy means openness, transparency, uh, shining the light on the areas that need to be uncovered. Um, so tomorrow, I don't know whether the sun will be shining, but I know that you will be shining the light on this part of our society that really needs to be exposed to the light of day. And as Justice Thurgood Marshall says, sunlight is the best disinfectant. So get out there and <laughs> containers that have leftovers in them. If you want any of the items, take what you want, leave whatever money that you like. Uh, and that's a good useful thing. Nine o'clock in about five or six minutes, people who are planning to do the action or are waffling and maybe about it are convening for no more than half an hour in room two 
to come to final details about uh, the scenario. Um, ostensibly, the rest of you, as I said before, some people need to come to some decisions about the reading of the indictment tomorrow. Um, anything else? Any other business? Carol? Just a reminder, as Medea was talking about doing outreach to faith communities, you right. do have an opportunity tomorrow morning. We have wonderful Jewish uh, Faith leaflets. We have directions. Right. Just see me, there's information out on the table. It would be really our first serious outreach to faith communities in Syracuse. So it would be very, very door. exciting to be part of that. Just for people who okay, haven't been here throughout the day, the basic schedule tomorrow is leafleting in the morning, for those who will. Then for our out-of-town guests, anytime after 10 o'clock, come to the Peace Council, which is in the uh, Syracuse Center for Peace and Social Justice. I can give you directions if you need them for food, late, late breakfast, early lunch kind of thing, leftovers from today as well as sandwich kind of things. Then we'll leave there somewhere between 11.30 or so to go to the start point for the Peace Walk and then walk over. We're going to, at, at, noon, at noon is the Peace Walk starts, but we'll be leaving before then to get there. And then at uh, 1.30 will be the action. So we invite everybody to come in one form or another. And thank you so much for having been here. Uh, and last thing, if you have house, if you have hospitality issues, please see Anne. That means if you have not nailed them, we are sleeping tonight, you need to talk to Anne. Um, and also, for, for those of us who are trying to figure out what that We'll, what will the reading of the indictment will look like? Please meet me over the pews over here. Yes, please come to the room number two where the uh, oh discussion the was workshop there. was. Right. It worked for which to find out where you're going to be staying tonight. Oh, yeah, no. Well, that's all right. You know, I'll let them do that first. And then we'll have it. Yeah. Yeah.